What makes a good game? What kind of game, or at least any kind of game, really is new, is fun, it blows people's minds? Well, it's a game that is really the first of its kind. ARMS. This game is what I think consider as a weird fighting game in this case. I don't know what else to say, but in this episode of Is It Good or Bad, today we're going to be taking a look at ARMS. I'm very excited. To begin with, ARMS is a really, very uh, kind of game that just is really new with idea of, I guess, like using your hands or arms as sort of like a now main thing instead of like melee weapons in this case. Like, you know, certain fighting games that just have like that one little simple punch. It uses that kind of concept of just using arms as a really cool idea of a fighting game. I do like how it really strikes me. Just thinking of a game that has all this cool and, you know, aesthetic of some kind of a fighting game that really is one of a kind. Or at least in this case, the first of its kind. Now, not that I don't believe that there will be any other ones out there, but at most, it's really, really, really fun in this case. However, that doesn't mean there's nothing else besides fighting. There are some mini games that, uh, how do I put this, are not perfect. I don't, not to necessarily hate them, but they're just, ah, uh, not what I was kind of expecting. What I mean by this is that there is V-Ball, which is volleyball arm style. What this basically is, is volleyball, but you're basically fighting, basically. It's like hitting the balloon instead of this, like how you would do in volleyball, like, you get the point. But what really strikes me is why, you know, this is in the game. I don't, I don't find it to be repetitive, but I'm just confused here. I'm not sure why there would be a game and you know, that, that's about fighting, have volleyball. It's kind of just that weird random thing that you kind of just are like, you know, why is that in the game and it's all good and all, but it kind of just doesn't make sense. Just thinking about it really is weird. Now that's just one example of that being weird. There are other ones that really uh, help you with your fighting skills in this case. Not that they're bad, but they try and give you this, like, thinking of how you need to fight. Sorry for the long pause. That's just a little error. There's hoops, which is basketball arm style, which kind of just helps you out with kind of grabbing in this case. Well, I shouldn't be saying this case because it's literally the point. You're literally grabbing your character and putting them right in the hoop. That's sort of the point of the game. Now, what weirds me out is the fact that hoops really does help you. It makes me feel very weird about, you know, using my players as hoops. And here's the funny thing. You see that? That, for one, does not make sense. Just, just that alone. There's also, I can't remember the minigame it was called, but it was hitting the targets, if I remember correctly. All it essentially is, is hitting the targets. And this is supposed to really help on your accuracy and your aim. Which is pretty good. I mean, considering that, you know, I'm sort of terrible at aim, because I played certain shooting games and I was very terrible at them. So, Call of Duty, for example. Anybody? Not the huge fan of Call of Duty, though. Now, there also is, um... Now, with it, what I like about it is that... Even though it really does help you... It kind of 
really is challenging. And to be honest right now, I'm terrible at targets because already I'm using in this little segment here that you see. Um, I find it to be kind of annoying how some people can really get on your nerves. The fact that I lost right there is the reason. Sometimes targets are not my favorite. There's also one versus a hundred, which is basically you're finding over 100 of these, whatever these enemies are, whatever these are. That's essentially the point. And I find this to be challenging because later on they get challenging. And they really do make this a really hard challenge. But for this segment, I'm just kind of punching them just to show off a little bit of how easy they can get. And then you'll see at some point they become challenging. I'm thinking after 20. As you can see, now they have already different arms. As you can see, I'm getting smuggled. There is also arms test, which is basically fighting against random arms and win streaks, like it says there. There's also training! And which essentially you pick one character and you're going to basically go through training, such as beginner punches, intermediate punches, advanced punches, don't get thrown, anti-course practice, and anti-jump practice, you know, all the essentials that you need to know on how to play the game. There's also party matches in which you can literally fight anybody, all for fun. There's also rank matches, however, in this, you have a particular kind of rank. If you can see on the top left corner of the screen, you can see number one. I am terrible at rank matches, or at least fighting people. So, with them being higher ranked than me, the, the only way you're going to get ranked matches is if you beat Grand Prix at level four. Now, this can be one player or two players, doesn't matter. The Grand Prix is also simply just like a Grand Prix, except instead of four races, it's ten fights. You fight against all the characters in the game except for one that is... I will not spoil, if you saw one of my other videos on the Grand Prix, you can find that out. There is the final one, and then if you are in level four or higher, there is another one, which makes it eleven matches in this case. You can also play with friends and people that are nearby. There's also set arms. Now, set arms is nothing really new, only besides giving you arms, and there's also get arms. So, I want to pick Springman for this example, and we're going to go with short timer because that's all that I can afford for the moment. What this essentially is, is that you're basically hitting targets, and if you hit them all fast enough, there'll be a gift that'll pop up. So, we're going to level up, and we're going to go a little faster. There's also timers. Now, hopefully, we'll get right into it right about now. You can see that there's the present right there, and that gives Springman new arms all the time. And that basically depends on the character you have and which gets the arms. Overall, this game is not bad. It's really good and really unique. It's the game that acts as a very awkward fighter kind of game. Now, there, now, at the moment, this game really isn't at most... There isn't really a lot of content right now. There will be more coming out soon. And as of this video, I haven't seen much to come. But overall, the game receives at least an 8.5 out of 10. And I recommend that you buy it, since it is really unique and is the first of its kind. As of this video, it is retail and downloadable, so you can go download it on the Nintendo eShop, or you could go find it at some store somewhere. Well, hopefully you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, subscribe! It should be possibly right there. It's gonna pop up right there. It's gonna be there. There are some other videos that you can check out, along with maybe some suggested that maybe you like! And maybe just another random video I'll put there. Whatever. I'll see you all next time. And don't, don't forget, I don't make good videos, but I am cringy worthy, and I love you guys. See you next time.